<laughs> You're welcome back. It's still a new day on TV3. We're live um, at Adesawe in Kanda. Um, over the years, Ghana's Most Beautiful has, um, you know, not, has proven to be not just a beauty pageant, but also one that trains um, its contestants to be ladies of substance, you know, training them in um, self-improvement strategy so that they can also make positive impact in society. Today I have with me here a Ghana's most beautiful 2018 contestant from the central region, um, Perpetua Opelabi, exactly. joining us. You're warmly welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Great. I can't feel it. Are you awesome? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm doing awesome. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Awesome. Um, I understand that you're launching a project today. Yes. Um, tell us more about your Perpetual Impact Foundation. Okay, so my project is on Perpetual Impact Foundation. Okay. And before you come to the competition, mm. you know, GMB give, gives you that opportunity to mm. choose a project so that after the competition, because GMB will obviously give you that platform. Mm. And what are you using the platform for? Mm. You have to make impact. And so I chose, I'm a health worker, I'm a midwife by profession. Okay. And so I chose something on preterm management. Okay. I had, so my main project, my flagship project is mm. on preterm management. Okay. And I'm also doing something on girls empowerment through okay. ICT. Because okay. I did my own tour in my district, okay. where I come from, Uchi okay. Senior West district. And I have realized that even the girls or the students don't have ICT and so I want to add the second one mm. the girls empowerment through ICT to my main project which is on preterm management or preterm okay. campaigns so preterm campaigns and then ICT for the girl, girl child. child but why should Ghanaians be interested in your foundation and your projects why should Ghanaians be interested Ghanaians should be interested because in Penny Fosse Obviously, it's it's something that will impact the lives of the younger ones that are coming. Mm -hmm. And so definitely they have to support. Mm. Yes. So you're launching two projects. It's it's a foundation and okay. under the foundation we have I have two projects. Okay. For now. For now. Exactly. Okay. So as time goes on, if I have enough resources, then I can also venture into other projects. Okay, all right. I understand that there's some, you came with some, you know, an entourage. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so can we take a look? Um, I, beautifully dressed. Can we see you? Kindly come around. Let's appreciate you. Yes. I wish they played some music so that you could shackle your uh, way uh, in. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So these are your ladies. They are going to be with you today. Yes. Okay. And lovely put together with the Katie and mm, everything. A touch mm, of Ghanaian. Mm, mm. Lovely. Yes. How are you all doing? Well. Excited about today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are not smiling like that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So what will they be doing today? They'll be ushering. They are my ushers. Oh, okay. All right. So some are protocol. Okay. Um, ushers and some are mean ushers. Okay. Okay. All right, so now back to your project. Um, have you begun any sort of implementation whatsoever or you are just going to launch before, yes. before you start? After the competition, mm -hmm. I've had two major programs mm -hmm. or two major pro yeah, let's say pro uh, programs mm -hmm. in my district. Mm -hmm. The first one was Independence Day with Tewa. Okay. Set March. Okay. I did a, a, a major project at Bodrasi Polyclinic okay. where we had health screening. We had we clean the we had clean up exercise okay. at the Bodrasi Polyclinic, and then then after we went to Countryside Orphanage Home where we made some donation. Okay. And then my second program was my homecoming. Mm. You know, after the after the competition, yeah. I've not officially gone there, but yeah. then. Thanks to Heaven Black, they sponsored 5,000 exercise books. Oh, and wow. so I adopted 10 basic schools mm. in the district. Mm -hmm. Then I awarded them with the, I gave out the books to them. To them yeah. But I, I wanted, since my project is on girl child mm -hmm. empowerment, mm -hmm. you know, the girls prophet and then the assistants, the head mm -hmm. girl and the assistants, yes. I awarded them with storybook, exercise book, nice. pen, pencils, mm. and it was just to encourage exactly. the others to also take up certain positions yeah. because some people feel that when you are probably in the village mm. and then you are a head girl it means nothing, nothing but indeed. it means something yes it means indeed. something what are some of the um, setbacks you 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 encountered any challenges yes mm. financial financial um 
resources, let me say mm. financial resources, am mm. I right? Oh, yes. Yes, it's, it's very tough. Sometimes when you are starting new projects, mm. it, it's quite um, um, tough. It's quite challenging. Yeah. But then um, through it all, I've, I've stand tall because okay. like, I'm, I'm, I'm determined to really do it. So, awesome. Yes. Awesome. So, so is it that you have everything you need now or you still need more support? Oh, I more still support? need more. I still need more. Mm. What does that mean in English? How do you say it in English? Even with the C, it's, uh, I mean, rainfall. So, oh, uh, yeah, right, right, right. So, um, how do we contact you if we need, um, okay. if we would like to support you? PIF um, website is www.virtualimpactfoundation.org. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can also reach us on 0249-703185 or 0240 zero four six six mm. zero three wonderful wonderful yes. so we've heard it um is there anything else you'd like to tell Ghanaians out there yes i want to tell Ghanaians that it, it's a it's a good thing i am doing it's, it's a good project mm. i'm embarking on especially with my preterm babies they are very very vulnerable and at a high risk of getting infections and mm. a lot of them die because certain um little little things that the mothers are supposed yeah. to know i yeah. mean they, they don't even know and they, they don't put them into practice yeah. and so i want to really embark on this um project to make sure that um, a life is saved mm. and so they should come and support a petrol impact foundation okay. and more importantly i am launching it this morning yes. at exactly 10 o'clock a.m at the executive theater tv3 right here Please come and support us. Those on their way come and please be on time so we can close on time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you've heard it from um, Perpetua Opelabi, um, a former contestant of Ghana's Most Beautiful 2018, embarking on a project that I think um, is of great concern. Um, the Perpetua Impact Foundation is being launched today as the Executive Theater at TV3, right here at the Executive Theater um, at Adesa Wakanda. You can't miss out on on this one and i think that if you're looking for an opportunity to support you know preterm babies and education and helping and empowering young girls out there this this is one that you should take um into consideration thank you so much for joining us once again Perpetua, you and your me. team <laughs> <laughs>